last question. Sure. Uh, Toastmaster Ginny, the last question. The mic, dear. Uh, hi, can you hear me now, Mike? Yes, You're audible. And I'm right. Thank you so much for the speech. I'm a big fan of reading. I committed at least one hour of reading every day. I really like your speech. And in order to promote the word of the day, Trevia, yeah. I will ask you a very simple question. Sure. What is a new Trevia you learned from your recent reading? Share with us a Trevia you learned recently from Awesome. Reading. Thank you. Awesome. You spoke my mind because as I said, one of my habits is read and discuss, right? And I'm going to do the same thing. So uh, I recently read a book uh, where the author talks about motivation. We all think that motivation is very important. We take motivation and then we take action. He says it's exactly the opposite. Motivation doesn't cause action. Action causes motivation. All right. You, you take some action and that motivates you to take further action. I'll give a simple example. My personal experience. When do you feel great while going to the gym from home or while coming back from the gym after your workout? I think after, after you have done with your workout and you're back, you're coming back home, you feel so elated and excited because you know, all the cells are charged. That means because you have taken action today, that action motivates you to take action tomorrow and you go to the gym the next day, right? Another example, if I fail to go to the gym today, there is probably a chance that I will not show up in the gym for next two, three days. There are a series of days I don't show up in the gym. That means inaction demotivates me to take action tomorrow. So action causes action, inaction causes inaction. So more than positive thinking. I believe in positive actions. All right. The first thing in the morning when I wake up, what am I supposed to do to make my bed? Although it could be a stupid activity, but it gives a positive uh, message to my subconscious mind that he is an organized guy. He is a disciplined guy. And then the ripple effect is the rest of the day, I'll be most probably doing some positive actions. I'll go to the terrace and exercise. I'll read a book, do my job. But if the first work the job I do when I wake up in the morning is, you know, scroll those news feeds from Instagram, there is a high chance that I'll binge watch movies on Netflix and eat something unhealthy. So see, <laughs> negative action will you know, uh, lead to more negative actions. Positive action will lead to more positive actions. Excellent. Uh, very good, Trevia. <laughs> Welcome.